It's 2009, Modern Warfare 2 just came out and you cannot wait to finish school so you can come back and pour in hours and hours and hours into playing Modern Warfare 2 with your friends. Man oh man what an amazing times those were. Unfortunately we cannot relive those days again. However I thought why not go back and platinum Modern Warfare 2. Do it! Just do it! The good Modern Warfare 2, not the new Modern Platform 2 of course, and in this video that's exactly what I did. Now I decided to divide this Platinum Ground into two steps. Step 1 is finishing the campaign on Veteran, alongside unlocking any easy trophies that I can while playing the game on Veteran difficulty, and also collecting as many collectibles as I can to make Step 2 easier, which of course is the cleanup, where we go and unlock all the remaining trophies. And with all that being said, let's start this Platinum Grind. Now you probably can see that I've already started with 19 out of the 51 trophies already on unlocked and the reason to that is because if you guys remember about a year and a half ago where Modern Warfare 2 was coming out I ended up doing a playthrough of this campaign and that's why I have 19 unlocked but don't worry all the hard ones are yet to be unlocked and you guys will see why this platinum was a pain in the neck. We start off the campaign with a tutorial mission where Sergeant Fall is teaching us how to play the game as if we've never played this game before. They teach us how to pick up a weapon, shoot some enemies but to make it worse they actually teach us how to aimball. Yes that's right the chin problem dates back all the way to 2009 by Activision themselves I mean just look at this, they're teaching us how to aim but what? <laughs> Anyways, after we learn how to aim but we go to our second train course where it actually determines nope. the difficulty that you need to play the game. So I end up going through the train course, complete everything and end up getting 32 seconds. Oh brother, this guy stinks! With the recommended difficulty being veteran. Either way, that's the difficulty that we need to do in order to unlock what I would say the hardest part of this platinum grind. But don't worry, this is not the last time we see this mission because man oh man will be back to it. There are two trophies on this mission. We move on to our second mission where we just casually have an drive and then boom an RPG to the face. I mean don't ask me how we're gonna survive this but I guess Call of Duty only then to wake up and see a glorious mustache man. Oh man oh man this is of course none other than Shepard. If you guys played this campaign you know all about Shepard. To this day when I see this man I absolutely dislike him like it's no one's business and you will see later on why I'm saying this. And it was at this point where I said you know what this veteran difficulty might not be as difficult as it was in the original Modern Warfare 2. Are you sure about that? But of course, as I just said that, boom, I get killed. And believe me, this is only the beginning. It only gets worse from here. Only then to see three soldiers sitting at the bottom of the stairs watching one of my best class setups. I mean, can you blame them? They're trying to see what is the best class setup to use. That is a very smart move. And actually, speaking of my channel, at any time if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to see for the like button. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so. And let's grow this channel together. And as you guys know by now, this is Call of Duty. So we get into our vehicles, we go into the suburbs, another shooter ensues until we of course get RPG to the face again. I mean can you tell me what the problem of this game is and getting RPG to the face? Are you serious? But of course we then follow that up by getting killed again and again until we finally make it to the end of the mission and we get our first trophy first day of school for completing this mission on veteran difficulty. Next up we move on to the third mission of this campaign where we see our boy Soap the Beast Soap for the first time in Modern Warfare 2 as we are in the middle of absolutely nowhere in some snowy mountain. Now just a quick disclaimer you have to be careful here because if you fall you actually become a snowman you get it because we're in a snowy area and there's two men here snowman yeah okay no okay well, let's move on but in this mission what we have to do first is plan C4 for, for distraction or plan B if you will in case anything went south and you guys know this is Call of Duty. After we successfully plan the C4 we then have to steal the ACS module. Now all of that sounds easy and doable but like I said this is Call of Duty after all. And if you guys thought Sergeant Foley telling us about aimbot was bad enough well here Soap actually tells us about a wall hack right here you can see in front of you right now. If you equip the heartbeat sensor you can see enemies through walls through pretty much everything so there it goes Call of Duty is teaching us about but aimbots and wall hacks, this is absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, enough of that, like I said, we have two objectives. First, plant the C4, which we should be able to do easily because we are currently in a snowstorm and nobody can see us, okay? The visibility is barely one centimeter in front of you. Now, it is worth mentioning that there are two earnable trophies in this mission right here. The first one is for completing the stealth part of this mission without getting detected and also without injuring or killing anybody, okay? But of course, with my dumb booty, I thought it was only going through the stealth mission that getting detected, not without killing anybody. And as you guys can see, I pretty much killed a lot of people here so I already failed that trophy now I'm beginning it and the second trophy is for killing 20 enemies while in a vehicle in a row okay 
But of course we managed to complete the first step and that is to plant the C4 before we have to make our way to this hangar right here to steal the ACS module and once we do that we can get out of here without anybody noticing but of course that's the problem. This is Call of Duty like I said and we somehow get found out. It's up against like 20 other enemies but of course nobody knows we're here and remember the C4 that we planted. Well yeah this is where we use it right here. Boom. And then we try to make our escape but of course we get killed right here. Anyways we move on to the snowmobile section probably my favorite part of this campaign right here we complete this mission we also get our trophy black diamond for completing this mission of veteran let's move on our journey to the platinum trophy does go through the most controversial mission in modern warfare 2 or at least i thought it did because when you start this campaign it clearly tells you that even if you do not play this mission if you decide to skip it you won't get penalized in terms of trophies or even stop you from getting the platinum trophy but of course this is me we're talking about and i completely did not pay attention to that and I ended up playing this mission anyways, I oh wasted about a good hour and a half to two. But anyways, for those of you guys that have never played this campaign and don't know what this mission is, basically you have to go undercover and pretend to be working with Makarov, and while doing so, you will do some unpleasant things in an airport to some civilians. Now, I can't show too much of this mission on this video because YouTube won't be happy, but like I said, you have to do some unpleasant things in an airport all the way until we make it to the end where we thought we've completed it, we've gone undercover, but of course, Makarov was one step ahead of us and he knew that we were undercover, and he ends up killing us. And with Microsoft killing us, this starts World War 3 and the rest of the story of this campaign. Oh boy, oh boy, here is where I start regretting this Platinum Grant to be honest with you guys. This mission right here, we go into a completely different stratosphere. We move on to a different level with this mission. Up to this point right now, the previous 4 missions, I've died a total of 9 times, okay? 4 missions, 9 deaths, that's not bad. Just wait until you hear how many times I get killed in this mission. I'll tell you guys at the end of this mission. Absolutely, absolutely ridiculous okay this is the mission that i really wish we could skip this was absolutely terrible so after the events of the previous mission no russian and the start of world war 3 we have to stop that and we have to do that by capturing alejandro he was the one who supplied the weapons and knows the exact truth of what happened at the no russian mission anyways we begin the mission by chasing after alejandro and we have to shoot him in the leg so we can capture him we do not want him killed but like i said it only gets worse from here okay after we have captured alejandro we have to go down into the favelas and already at the start of this mission right here I'm already struggling okay just because of the sheer amount of enemies they are they could be in the rooftops they could be in the buildings they could be absolutely everywhere and this is on veteran of course so that's what makes this mission very very difficult and already the very first thing is I get blown up by a frag grenade okay and believe me when I say this you will be hearing about frag grenades a lot okay I'm telling you guys this mission absolutely pain the neck okay to be honest with you guys just this mission alone made me regret going for the platinum trophy for Mon Warfare 2 and it's not even fun Anyways, as I was trying to complete this mission, I remembered that there's a very easy trophy that I can do where it requires you to use five different weapons and get a kill with each weapon, okay? And each kill has to be with a different weapon in a row, okay? So one kill per new weapon. And while this is a very, very easy trophy on veteran, it is anything but easy. But luckily, I somehow managed to find five different weapons near where I was while taking cover, managed to get a kill, and boom, unlock the trophy. That's another trophy done. But of course, you know what comes next. I simply get destroyed. Get killed after killed after killed and it wasn't even funny okay and after spending a good 15 to 20 minutes just on the first section okay just the first section of this mission right here i finally managed to make it to the next step and it only gets worse from here if you thought what i went through was bad oh boy oh boy this part is even worse okay this part consists of only very tight places with buildings all over the place and windows and enemies absolutely scattered all over the place okay you could not move one centimeter in front of you without getting shot at and without getting killed and to make it worse the grenade spamming on this mission right here absolutely absolutely ridiculous you could not move one centimeter without somebody throwing a grenade at your face and every time you thought you could move to the next part nope a grenade to the face stop it get some help you are forced to go back and by the time you come out there's an enemy there and by the time you kill the enemy boom there's another frag grenade man oh man simply simply a pain in the neck this mission was to be honest with you guys at one point i had absolutely no idea what to do i could not move forward with this mission i couldn't i simply could not it was either grenades or getting shot and the flitch going all the way up to the sky we fast forward a bit i tried to climb a ladder i accidentally fall off the ladder and somebody ends me and sends me to the shadow realm you blew it and to make that even worse i finally get into this building right here you guys can clearly see there's nobody here apart from this enemy right here i shoot him boom and i get killed from behind what what from where from where what are you on about game what there was absolutely nobody there where did this guy come from what 
I even have a replay for you guys, there was nobody behind me. Until now I still have no idea where the enemy came from. He just magically spawned behind me just to kill me and frustrate me. But anyways we tried to look at the positive things and as you guys can see I see a intel that we need to collect. There is a trophy for collecting all intels in this campaign. Then I finally make it to the next step and just watch this. No 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 move 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 I'm stuck I'm stuck no move go go. No not like this game. I was stuck on whatever that was what was that. You have to be kidding me game not like this. Yeah, you see why I'm getting frustrated and why I absolutely dislike this mission. Not only with everything that was going on, I get stuck on that as well. Anyways, after 40 minutes, yes, 40 minutes of struggling in this mission, we finally make it to the end. We capture the men that we need to capture. And to put the cherry on top of this mission, there is no trophy for completing this mission just yet, okay? <laughs> There are a couple trophies you only unlock after completing two certain missions. So for example, this mission we just completed, we have to complete that. And then we have to complete another mission later on the campaign for us to unlock the trophy that requires us to complete both missions. And no, I haven't forgotten, in this mission alone, I died 18 times. One mission, double of four missions combined. We are gonna move on from this mission, I never wanna see you or speak about it again. In this mission, Wolverines, we play as Private Ramirez who is part of the 75th Ranger Regiment. As we are trying to stop a Russian invasion, and get to a high value target who has the information that we need to of course stop the Russian invasion of the US. Now as we are on our way to the objective we actually get to see Warzone being teased all the way back in 2009. Yes you heard that right, Infinity Ward actually teased Warzone back in 2009 in this Mon Warfare 2 campaign. No God please no! 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 We just simply didn't realize it until 11 years later. I mean just look at all of these players parachuting into Verdansk or Rebirth Island and simply enjoying Warzone. Now to be honest with you guys, I don't know what is with Warzone, you guys know I absolutely absolutely love Warzone. I simply can't escape it even when I'm playing a 15 year old game. When Warzone wasn't even a thing, it is still in my face reminding me of Warzone. Man oh man. <laughs> Warzone is absolutely my kryptonite. Now I simply cannot go through this mission without reminding you guys of the Ramirez meme. If you guys have played this campaign you know about Ramirez. Ramirez do this, Ramirez do that. As if you're the only player in this mission. The Ramirez meme is absolutely legendary in Call of Duty. I just thought I would remind you guys of that. Anyways after we reach our objective we have to defend the rooftops and stop the enemy assault. Which actually ended up being perfectly timed. Why do I say that? Because there's a trophy where you need to get a frag grenade to the head kill. And basically just as the name suggests you have to throw a frag grenade to the head of an enemy kill him you'll get the trophy and as you guys can see i downed the enemy boom hit him with a frag grenade to the head simple trophy to collect that was super super awesome but that is not the only easy trophy that we can collect in this mission because as you guys can see here where we have two tanks we have to destroy them using a missile launcher we cannot use anything else apart from rpg or the stinger or the javelin and we do that very very easy we collect that easy easy trophy after we complete all of that not much really happens in this mission and boom that's another mission completed in this next mission we try to get out of Brazil after of course the chaos that we caused during the favela slash takedown mission. We try to get out of Brazil but of course we have to fight our way out of Brazil because you know this is Call of Duty after all. However we don't escape Brazil before we know that there is someone who Makarov hates so much but is currently locked in the gulags. I mean who could that be? Who? 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 I guess we'll find out very very soon. And to be honest with you guys, I have to say that this mission, even the previous mission, they were okay missions, okay? Even on veteran, they weren't annoying anything like that. Until this point, nothing beats favela slash takedown mission. That was just next level. Anyways, we make our way to the next part of this mission without too much trouble. But of course, that's where I find myself some akimbo weapons. And you know what that means. There is a trophy for killing 10 enemies in a row. Because you are on the streets and start mission and all the enemies are close to you. As you guys can see, 10 kills with an akimbo in a row. Super super easy, we collect that trophy, however that's not the only trophy in this mission, there is another trophy that requires you to kill 7 chickens in 10 seconds, again very simple very easy, and yes yes I know I know this is very sad we just randomly killing chickens, however if you look at the positive side, well at least we have dinner now. Yeah, you know what, let's just move on. We move on and actually unlock another trophy, this time for collecting 22 entails. That's another trophy down. We then make it towards the end of the mission where Nikolai is waiting for us to exfil out of Brazil. However, here's where I don't want you guys to be laughing at me because as we are running through the rooftops, somehow, someway, I managed to find the smallest hole in that rooftop and boom, I fall to my death. Absolutely legendary right there. <laughs> 
However, it doesn't end there because I once again fall to the ground, but this time it's not a mistake. This time nope. it's actually part of their campaign story. I get up and start running for my life as everybody else is trying to chase me. We make it to the X-Fill again and this time everything goes smoothly. And boom, we get rewarded with another trophy for completing this mission and takedown on veteran. Remember how I told you guys that takedown was the worst mission? Well, guess what? I apologize for that because takedown stands absolutely no chance against this mission Exodus. Man, oh man, this is where the real, real struggle happened, okay? It got to a point where I'm not even kidding with you guys I had no idea what to do okay I felt stuck I thought that I wasn't even gonna be able to complete this video complete this platinum grunt because I was actually stuck in this mission it was super super crazy but before again showing you guys the real struggle in this mission we return to play as private Ramirez and we are still searching for the high value target who knows the information we need to stop the Russian invasion of the US now to make this mission as simple as it can be although it was anything but simple for me to be honest with you guys here's a quick recap on how this mission went I was just one more shot from my way. Oh, wait, get no, away. Get away. No, 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 of course. There it goes. There it goes. And my end no chance. Going all the way to the sky. What on earth is this man? What? Yep, no, there it goes. I'm, done. I'm actually done. I'm just getting shot from behind. I'm where? actually where? done. I, mean, I don't understand. As everything really that was happening was bad. Where did I get run over by my I'm own actually teammate? I'm actually done. What? I don't know what to do. Yeah, so what I showed you guys was only a small part of what actually happened in this mission. Man, oh man, super annoying. Anyways, though, after 50 minutes, yes, 50 minutes of playing this mission, we finally made it to the high value target only to realize that he was being absolutely sent to the Shadow Realm. So everything that we went through and everything that happened in the mission was absolutely for nothing because our HVT or high value target was actually killed however not exactly everything we did was for absolutely nothing because at the end of this all we did end up getting a new trophy red dawn for campaign wolverines and exodus on veteran difficulty then we moved on to a much much easier mission than the previous one this mission took us to an oil rig where we look for information about prisoner 627 who we know is now being locked away in a russian gulag and you are looking for answers so we know how to get there and we can rescue him Early in the mission there are multiple doors that we have to breach so we can rescue some hostages. Now there is a trophy that we can unlock related to the breaching sequence where we have to kill 4 enemies with 4 bullets ok. So pretty much each enemy 1 bullet 1 headshot we can do it. Let's see if we can do it right. Nope. And of course by now you should know how this goes. We absolutely messed it up but that's fine. We end up trying again. Boom. 4 headshots. That's the trophy unlocked. Super super easy. However, that's not the only trophy in this mission though. There is another trophy for destroying the helicopter that you see in front of you right now with frag grenades, okay? You cannot use rocket launchers nope. or anything like that. You have to destroy with frag grenades. And let's hope I can do this trophy better than I did the breaching trophy. Nope. But of course, that's why it absolutely didn't. I messed it up, but don't worry, we'll be back for this. You blew it. So for now I just left it, destroyed it with a launcher, but like I said we will be definitely back for this. For the rest of the mission very easy, we cleared some more enemies, we saved some more hostages, we made it to the exfil and we got out of there. Like I said, super super easy mission. And here we are on the Gulags mission, after knowing the exact location and how to get prisoner 627, we finally make our way to the Gulags to rescue prisoner 627. Who could this prisoner be? We will finally find out. After shooting our way through the Gulags, we make it to the prison area of the Gulags, where we get stuck in a weapons area while everyone was shooting at us this is very very difficult especially on veteran you have to use that riot shield and have your back against the weapons otherwise you'll get killed very very fast but luckily like i said i did what i told you guys and we finally opened the door and escaped from there however only to make it to a very very familiar place that is of course none other than the showers area of the gulags and if you guys played the original war zone you all know about the showers area at the gulags by the way i'm still winless in war zone i don't know if you guys need to hear that but i just told you guys anyways three four years of war zone still List. The less said about that, the better. <laughs> However, after killing more right shield enemies, what is this? Multiplayer? We finally make it to prisoner 627, we breach the area, and boom, we get absolutely knocked out like it's no one's business, only to turn around and be none other than Captain Price. All this time, prisoner 627 was Captain Price. What a beast of a character, to be honest with you guys. Definitely one of the best characters in the Call of Duty franchise. And yeah, we finally rescued Captain Price, we escaped from the gulags, and we get our trophy, prisoner 627. In the next mission, we return to the US playing as Ramirez, as we are still trying to stop the Russian invasion of the US. But to be honest with you guys, nothing really interesting happened in this mission, okay? Apart from where we make it to this building right here, there is a trophy that we can unlock but as you guys know i absolutely messed it up oh brother this guy stinks and i'll tell you what this is becoming a theme in this video right here every time there's an easy trophy that i can get to make the cleanup easier later on in the video i am absolutely messing it up but anyways we will definitely be back to collect this trophy later on 
The next mission takes us back to Russia where we're playing as Roach and for the first time in this campaign alongside Captain Price. Of course we saved him a couple missions back and here he is on the job for the first time with us being absolutely the beast that he is. And this mission is no different from the others because we are still trying to capture Makarov so we can put an end to the war that he started and this takes us to a port in Russia as we the task force 141 try to take control of a Russian nuclear submarine. Now as your typical stealth mission in Call of Duty, this started out very stealthy and everything until of course early on everything took a turn and things went downhill. First of all we get chased by a tank, yes you heard that right we got chased by a tank. How are we not dead there? I'm not sure but this is Modern Warfare 2. And to honest you guys, one thing that I really dislike in this game is the running, okay? It is super super frustrating, just like we see in front of you right now. I'm trying to run from the tank, right? And every one or two seconds is stopping. That is super super frustrating, not gonna lie to you guys. But anyways, we somehow escaped from the tank. Yes, that's right, we outrun a tank. Just let that sink in. You what? We make it into the woods and we are safe for now. And here is another frustrating part because right here, Captain Price tells me that you either let this patrol pass or you eliminate them. But the problem is the fact that Captain Price simply just lays prone and doesn't do anything okay he simply does not do anything if you let them pass he's just gonna be stuck there for whatever reason until you eliminate them yourself and then and only then he moves i'm not gonna lie to you guys captain price is definitely getting sloppy okay <laughs> After being locked in the gulags for far too long, he is definitely getting sloppy but to be honest with you guys, I've been the gulags in warzone, I know what that does to a man, so we'll give Captain Price a pass here. We finally make it to the next part, however there is a trophy here, but like I said earlier and I keep on saying I messed it up. Now the trophy you can unlock here is for not allowing your predator missile to be destroyed, but of course at first I didn't know how to do it, I completely messed it up, but that's fine, all I had to do was simply restart the mission from the beginning. Now what you're supposed to do in order to get this mission is, you're supposed to pass Captain Price and slide down the hill before he gets there once you do that your predator missile will not be destroyed and you will unlock the trophy and it was at this point that i saw something that my eyes simply cannot unsee anymore and simply i'm just not sure what to do anymore just look at this what is ghost doing man what are those dance moves from ghost what he is just dancing like it's no one's business okay while everybody's shooting at us what on earth is ghost doing to be honest with you guys i thought i've seen all with the ghost memes from one way 2 2022 but no right here ghost dance moves are absolutely next level to be honest with you guys, this mission was a bit of a struggle, okay? Now, of course, nothing compared to Takedown or even Exodus, but still, I kept on down, especially on this part right here. To be precise, I ended up getting killed 17 times, okay? Now, I tried to be patient in doing this, but I couldn't because there's a timer. So, you have to balance things out. You have to be fast while also try not to get killed because this is on Veteran. So, like I said, this mission was a bit of a struggle. But then, right here, I came so close, okay? So, so close. Almost made it. Nope. I ended up getting killed, but that's fine because the most important thing is that we got a checkpoint. And every time... I get killed we restart from here instead of early in the mission so that was very good and after multiple attempts here I finally made it and guess what it is Price's only first mission back right and he decides to get into a submarine and launches a missile towards Washington DC you what yes that's right his first mission back from the gulags gets into a submarine launches a nuclear missile what on earth but that is where this mission ends, we do get a trophy but also this marks our 100 deaths in this playthrough okay. I'll absolutely take that, I mean it could have been much worse okay. We straight away found out that the missile that Price launched was actually an EMP and he destroyed it in space to destroy all equipment giving the US an advantage to stop the Russian invasion. We are once again back playing as Ramirez in the US as Ramirez and his crew are firing to stop the Russian invasion and take back Washington before the Air Force starts to bomb the city. I remember playing this mission on Veteran back on the Xbox 360 days on the original Modern Warfare 2 and man I must tell you it was really really more difficult back then than it is now. I'm not actually sure if they've toned down the Veteran difficulty in Modern Warfare 2 campaign remastered but it does really seem like that because the original Modern Warfare 2 campaign on Veteran was much much harder. In this mission I simply went from cover to cover and took it so patiently because at the beginning of the mission you are fun in a wide open area and you guys already know what's gonna happen even though I took this patiently and Nope. actually went from cover to cover I still get killed nope. because there's absolutely no way that I can complete a mission without dying but anyways I collect all the intels in this mission and make progress towards that trophy for later on I finally make my way to the end of the mission where just before the air force was about to bomb the city we stopped them with our green flares right at the last second and there it goes homecoming trophy unlocked complete on their own accord second sun and whiskey hotel we just got a trophy for completing 3 missions, yes let's go. And if you've played the Mon Wefe 2 campaign you know what's about to happen next, you know this mission very very well. No god please no, no, no!
Now it is time for none other than loose ends. I'm telling you, this mission turned boys into men. This mission made men cry, okay? The saddest mission in COD franchise, loose ends. The new Call of Duty games wish they could have a mission as good as this mission, let alone a full campaign. And I must say, I was really, really not ready to relive this pain again. And believe me, there was a lot of pain in trying to complete this mission. Anyways, so of course we are back as Task Force 141. We got split up and sent to two different locations to try and find info on Makarov so we can capture him once and for all. Ghost and Roach got sent to the safe house where we currently are, where there are some information about Makarov that we will need to extract. As we are making our way through the field, we get ambushed with mines and soldiers, with RPGs and different weapons as well. And as you guys know by now, I get killed a couple times in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I'm not sure I'm gonna do this part in veteran. No, 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 not like this game. Come on, come on, come on. What, what? No. From where, from where? How am I actually gonna complete this part if there is no cover? What is this, man? We're being ambushed from all over the place. Are you serious, man? What? But I finally make my way to the safe house, where as I'm going at the top of the stairs, boom, an enemy appears out of nowhere. Absolutely out of nowhere. It happened again. The previous mission, this happened. I mean, where was this guy hiding? He just appears out of nowhere. And then take what you're about to see now as a learning lesson on how to not breach a door in Modern Warfare 2 campaign. I completely did not see the two enemies hiding behind the table. I mean, I don't even know what to say, but that was absolutely terrible. And if I'm being honest with you guys, this next part was really, really the part where I was not looking forward to begin. Why? Because I still remember in the original Modern Warfare 2 when I played it on Veteran, this was the part where it really, really took me the longest time. It was just super frustrating. I struggled so much. So I was not looking forward to complete this next step where we have to start the download to extract the files that we need. To complete the full download while enemies are absolutely ambushing you from all over the place. From the front, from the back, from the sides, from all over the place, okay? And simply put, I knew this was going to go downhill super quickly, said absolutely no one ever. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. Because the part that I was the most afraid of turned out to be the easiest part. Yes, you heard that right, the easiest part. As you guys can see, I went and hid behind the table right here. And for whatever reason, all those enemies could simply do absolutely nothing to me. Just simply laid behind this table, completed the full download, and it was the easiest thing ever, okay? Of course, until I messed up or I tried to collect the download and then I get killed from behind. But that's fine because you only have to restart the final a minute or two of the final download, so that's fine. And because it is me, I made this mistake three times right at the end when the download is finishing. I'm trying to collect it very quickly, I get killed. Come on, come on, go, 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 quickly quickly collect it okay we collected it let's go let's go we have to add add no 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 like this no not like this game what but that is fine i finally collect it and we make our way all the way to our rendezvous helicopter but boom shepherd right here shows his true colors the biggest betrayal in gaming history like i said earlier even men cried in this mission yes sir we got it sir good that's one less loose end <laughs> This was traumatic back then and it is still now, okay? It does not get better no matter how many times you play this campaign, this mission. This mission really is the saddest and the biggest betrayal in gaming history. This was absolutely terrible. After the betrayal, Task Force 141 becomes the enemy now and Price and Soap find themselves in a boneyard where Shadow Company, which are Shepherd's men of course, and they are fighting against Makarov's army or Coney group and we are in the middle of it as we are trying to make our escape out of the boneyard. Now the trick to this mission is you only have to try to engage with an enemy only if you have to, okay? As the enemies are fun each other, you can pretty much slip through them until of course somebody sees you and starts shooting at you and that's when you can engage as well. But as you guys can see from the beginning, I'm already shooting at the enemies You had one job And I've already messed up this mission <laughs> But anyways, the beginning, I found an intel that's 39 out of the 45 intels that are required to get the trophy for collecting all intels. So we're almost there, okay, almost there, just 6 more to go. And then during the mission, we contact our number one enemy, of course, Makarov, because we are left with no other option. We contact Makarov and convince him to give us the location of Shepard, so we can kill him, of course, after the biggest betrayal in gaming history. We then make our way to Nukalai, who was waiting for us, and we escape the boneyard. We did get another trophy for all our troubles in this mission. We are 
are almost there, almost finished with the campaign, not long left. Boom, another trophy, queen takes rock, we're almost there, just one more trophy remaining for the veteran campaign, let's do this. We then followed Makarov's intel to where Shepard is hiding. Bravo 6, going dark. We push our way, killing everyone inside until we find Shepard and here is where it gets ugly. The final mission is where everything went from 0 to 100 real quick. We start an epic boat chase with Shepard consisting of just open areas with enemies all around us and you know where this leads, okay? Death after death after death. It got really really frustrating because I tried everything and it seemed like it did not work and like I said it was very very frustrating. Come on Price, how am I supposed to dodge a helicopter when we're in open space? Are you serious? No, no, no. Nope. Oh, come on. Okay, again, again? No, what? what? Nope. How? How? I actually have no idea what to do. What is this? Where am I supposed to go, man? Are you serious? Come on, come on, come on. And there it goes again. There it goes again. I don't know what to do. I actually have no idea what to do. I've tried everywhere. Going down the middle to the sides. I keep on getting killed. It's just open areas. I don't know where to go. There is no cover. What is this? Are you kidding me, man? Okay, this attempt is it, okay? Are you sure about that? Oh, oh, be careful, be careful, be careful. No. no, no, okay, that's it. I don't know. I actually have no idea what to do. I'm stuck. I don't think I can complete this platinum. Are you serious? I'm stuck on the final mission. However, I must say that all of those deaths were actually not bad because little did I know I was actually progressing towards a trophy, but after so many attempts and raging, a trophy popped up for killing 20 enemies in a row while in a vehicle. But finally we made it and Price took a nice shot at Shepard's shot. chopper and actually downed him. And so did we. We end up falling from a waterfall. But we finally found Shepard. Price and Soap get into a fist fight with Shepard. Soap gets stabbed and we use the knife to kill Shepard once and for all. This was for Ghost, okay? And boom, there it goes, that's for Ghost, okay, that is for Ghost. Finally, that is the Mono 2 campaign completed on Veteran. I'm not gonna lie, it took a while, it took many many deaths, but we still completed it, there it goes. That's what I'm talking about, baby, let's go. One of the best campaigns in Call of Duty franchise. And there it goes, off the grid, for completing just like old times, on Veteran. And there it goes, Price of War complete the single player campaign on Veteran. That's the one we were looking for. Now, of course, we move on to step 2, where we clean up the remaining of the trophies. Let's do this. Now that we've completed step 1, the campaign, we move on to step 2, the cleanup. The first trophy I tried to go for was to survive both rooms of the museum now the thing with the museum is depending on what difficulty we finish the campaign with that will be the same difficulty of both of the rooms of the museum and as you guys just saw i completed the campaign on veteran and because it's my dumb booty i decided to go straight after and do the museum trophy and like we're seeing i got killed a couple more times until i finally realized and what i did was i went into a campaign mission set it on recruit i quit the campaign and came back to the museum it was very very easy did it in my first attempt and that is the first trophy unlocked in the second step of this platinum grind and there it goes do not push this button for cleaning both rooms of the museum let's do this baby we move on to our next trophy which requires us to complete the first part of cliffhanger without killing anybody and also without alerting anybody simply put the campaign on recruit went to cliffhanger did what i have to do complete it super super easy not a challenge at all and there it goes ghost plant the c4 in cliffhanger without alerting or injuring anybody let's go i really should have done this in the campaign walkthrough but that's fine i did it right now super easy let's go baby that's another trophy done we are getting closer to that platinum our next trophy requires us to collect all of the 45 intels that are found in the mono fa2 campaign and that's exactly what i did remember through the veteran campaign gameplay when i was telling you guys i am collecting all the intels that i can during that playthrough so when i move on to the second step the cleanup it is super easy there's just a couple more intels that i need to collect and in this case i had just just one left okay so when it came to unlocking the trophy i just had to find one which was at the very beginning on the sssdd mission got it unlocked another trophy for collecting all 45 entails super super easy our next trophy required us to destroy a helicopter using only grenades in the mission only easy day was yesterday and you guys know how these challenges go with me of course i nope. failed the first attempt it's just impossible for me to complete something like this in first attempt i felt so miserably that nope. oh brother this guy stinks game even felt sorry for me and ran me out of grenades so i don't even try again but of course you know how this goes i tried again second attempt completed it. two three grenades got thrown onto the face of the pilot destroyed the helicopter like no one's business hot potato Boom, I like me some potatoes, not gonna lie. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Let's move on. Our journey in this platinum trophy takes us back to an old friend, and that is none other than the mission Exodus. You could not live with your own failure. Where did that bring you? Back to me. 
you guys already know how I feel about this mission there is no point in repeating myself but anyways in this trophy you have to use the honey badger to kill 80 enemies okay this mission on Verton it was terrible and in recruit it was terrible as well because when I was trying to complete this trophy on recruit like I said I was still getting frustrated because just like you see nope. here I again got ran over by my own team by my own tank man oh man this is absolutely absolutely terrible mission like I said if they take away this whole mission I will be very very happy this mission is absolutely terrible but when it comes to the trophy itself it's actually quite easy you don't even have to do anything apart from use the honey badger to kill 80 enemies okay do that until you get the 80 kills and the trophy will pop up super super easy like I said but in terms of the mission it was very very frustrating our next trophy is called bird hunter and you have to destroy 10 helicopters using a javelin in the mission of their own accord now this trophy isn't really difficult however it's tricky if you do not do it right you could be spending hours here without even getting the trophy the trophy sounds very simple you need to destroy 10 helicopters using a javelin boy oh boy wasn't I wrong I spent a good while in this mission I destroyed about 15 20 25 helicopters and the trophy was still not popping up you serious because I was doing it wrong and what I mean by that is this trophy is actually divided into two parts you have the first part once you enter the room right here before you use the sniper okay five helicopters will spawn just like you're seeing I destroyed four of them and I'm like where on earth is this fun helicopter what where is the fifth helicopter in the first part of this mission now I'm not sure if this mission is bugged or whatever but the fifth helicopter turns out to be spawned all the way to the far left of the screen okay And it is simply impossible to get because it actually spawned behind the building where you are and you cannot physically get it okay it is almost impossible however it's not so impossible why because if you wait for it long enough it will somehow make its way past the building and you can actually get it just like you're seeing I finally got it that was very very frustrating but that is the first part okay the second part on this mission is once you use that snap and you help your allies further five helicopters will spawn destroy those further five helicopters boom you will get the trophy super super easy Easy. the next trophy I was going for was called claymore and just like the name suggests you need to get 11 kills using claymores in the most emotional mission in Modern Warfare 2 and that is of course none other than loose ends now as you guys know it's not one of my videos if something does not go wrong and that's exactly what happens here as I was attempting to unlock this trophy guess what Malgato decides to not record for a reason I missed the part where that's my problem. I still don't know why or how that happened, but for whatever reason, Malgato stopped the recording. So unfortunately, I don't have the footage of me unlocking it. I do have a picture of me unlocking it, but still you guys should be seeing a true representation of how this mission exactly went and how I unlocked this trophy. The next mission requires us to complete one mission, just one mission, apart from SSDD and Endgame, without reloading your weapon or getting any melee kills, okay? Now to be honest with you guys, I thought I was very smart and I decided to do second son but I quickly found out that I was not very smart first of all and second of all it felt absolutely miserably so I decided to do the second smartest thing and that is to complete the mission cliffhanger which is absolutely full of shooting your weapons I decided to do that because again I'm very smart said absolutely no one ever However, it turned out that doing this trophy in the mission cliffhanger was actually the smartest move I've done because it went super smoothly and this mission actually helps you in doing that because the first part of the mission you do it very stealthily, you don't need to shoot your weapon, you don't need to reload. For the second part, I simply ran through everybody, did not shoot my weapon at all. So I simply forgot that my shooting button even exists, I never pressed it, got to the end of the mission. Yes, there it goes, the real gun game, I completed it right there 100%, let's go baby, another trophy down. And then there were 4, technically 5 with a platinum trophy, but 4 without the platinum trophy. We are almost getting to the end of this platinum grind. However, our next trophy called Immortal required us to complete every mission without dying or reloading from a checkpoint at any difficulty, okay? What? Now, of course, I'm not gonna bore you guys with again showing the whole campaign, you've already done that, but man, oh man, this is a simple trophy, okay, you just have to not die and not restart from any checkpoint but you guys know by now it's one of my playthrough which means I have to make this difficult for myself because first of all yes I played on recruit and I went through the whole campaign but guess what I did not write the name of the missions where I actually died or had to restart from a checkpoint you had one job like I said because I'm very smart so I went through the whole campaign and guess what the worst case scenario happened and I did not get the trophy no god please no 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 Yes, after playing through the whole campaign and not get the trophy, very very frustrating. Now the reason why the trophy did not pop up for me after completing the campaign was because I restarted the missions where I died on the wrong way. Once you've done the mission, you cannot restart from the pause menu. You have to back out all the way to the main menu and then restart that mission from the beginning, not from the pause menu. And guess what? I did the pause menu way. 
You blew it. So at that point for me, it was simply just a guessing game and trying to remember what missions I died on. So after completing about four or five missions that I remember, I had to restart. And finally, after replaying the mission of their own accord, at the end, I finally got the trophy to unlock. With that trophy being completed, now we were down to just three trophies. And all three trophies are unlocked in one mission, the first mission of this campaign, and that is SSDD. And of course, the trophies are where you have to complete the pit in under X amount of time. You have to run the pit in under 30 seconds. The second trophy, you have to run the pit in under 19.7 seconds. And the final trophy, well, let me just say it's a simple and fun Easter egg. We will get to that later on this video. The first trophy is pit boss, and you have to run the pit in under 30 seconds. Now, to be honest with you guys, I didn't really face too much difficulties with this trophy, as long as you're somewhat accurate and somewhat fast it is easily obtainable after multiple runs uh sorry i meant to say completely totally my first attempt okay you guys didn't hear anything else that was totally my first attempt i managed to run the pit somewhat fast and accurate got under 30 seconds but guess what my gato strikes back again it does not record my gameplay and i only managed to record after the trophy popped super super frustrating man oh man but anyways we move on to our next trophy and that is the student surpasses the master where you have to run the pit in under 19.7 seconds and man oh man here is where i really struggled okay I did so many runs of the pit, nope. it was not funny, and every time it was something small that was just stopping me. I was getting stuck on things, sometimes I would miss the enemy cutouts, it was really really frustrating. I tried it so many times, it's not even funny, okay? In this attempt you're seeing right now, I got very very close, at one point I thought this was it, but I only managed to do 23.90 seconds, which means I was still a good 4 plus seconds away from the target for the trophy. I once again get very very close, this time I do a new improvement of 23.40 seconds, but still I was not close enough to where I needed to be to unlock the trophy and many many attempts later you think there will be improvements and while yes you're right there will be an improvement but man oh man this was a heartbreak a heartbreak much worse than a breakup just watch what happens okay this has to be it. i have a very good thing about this attempt so far i've done it with accuracy and speed this has to be it let's focus let's focus okay i did it with about 27 seconds oh no no, 0.3 seconds off, 20, I need 19.7. What? I just got 20 on the dot. No, man. Not like this. This was it. What happened? And the heartbreak continues in this attempt because in this attempt, I knew I had it, okay? I knew I had it. It was in the bag before I blew it. I simply blew it. I fumbled it. Everything was going so well. I was fast. I was accurate. I was getting all the bonuses I need to to reduce that time so I can get this trophy. And right towards the end, I don't realize nope. that my weapon is out of ammo. Instead of switching to my secondary, I tried to shoot with my weapon that was out of ammo. That wasted so much time. Man, oh man. I blew it, okay? I had it right here. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. But do not fear because I am here and I was determined to get this trophy and this attempt had to be it. Although it came many many attempts later, but this was it, okay? This was it. I run the pit very very fast and also as accurate as I could. Okay, this has to be it. If this is not it, I don't know what to do, okay? I don't think this plan is achievable. This has to be it. Let's focus. Come on. Alright, I managed to do it with about 26 seconds. Boom, there it goes. Yes, 18.70 seconds. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Man, oh man, it is finally done. This was absolutely a grind. It took many, many attempts and about two days to complete it. But there it goes, finally, man. The student surpasses the master. Indeed, he has trophy unlocked. Let's do this, baby. Let's go. And then there was one, one single trophy remaining before the platinum and it was super easy. The trophy is clown in training. In the first mission SSDD, you have to find the Barrett 50 cal sniper and destroy three clowns hidden in SSDD. Once I do that, the trophy is ours. The platinum grind in Mono 2 campaign will be officially over. Alright ladies and gentlemen, this is it. Once I destroy this clown right here, the platinum trophy is ours. And take a deep breath. Nope. Oh come on game, why are you shaking the screen on me? Are you serious? Let's try that again and boom. Okay, there it goes, clown training. One trophy completed. The US Army ain't no place for clowns. And there it goes, that's all you got. Platinum trophy earned, let's go. That's it, oh man. After a hard two weeks or so of grinding Mono FA2 for this platinum trophy. There it goes, finally unlocked. Yes, let's go baby, that's what I'm talking about. Finally, the Mono FA2 platinum unlocked, collected, done and dusted. Let's go man, let's freaking go. But with all that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and wanna see another platinum video, make sure to see for the like button and if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet make sure to do so thank you for watching this video and i'll catch you guys later